This is the Simply Go Mini POC. So the Mini, uh, don't confuse it with the Simply Go. The Simply Go is a unit that's in a two-wheel cart and it does two liters per, up to two liters per minute of continuous flow. This is a carry over the shoulder unit. I've taken the carry case off right now so I can show you the unit, but keep in mind that anything that you just carry, if it's small enough to carry over your shoulder, um, typically they are pulse only. It's the bigger ones in the two wheel cart that are able to do, uh, do the uh, pulse flow. So as far as using this one, it has a, an extended use battery in it. You can see the release button here for the extended use battery. I'll show you that in just a little bit. But to charge the battery and for other power uh, sources, what you can do is go right over here. This is the input for the charger. And the charger is like many other POCs where it has an inverter like this that's plugged into the wall with a light to indicate you're getting power to it. And then it'll have a configuration to plug in to the side here. So you notice this one has a dot and a dot to line up. So it's kind of helpful to get it line, get the cord lined up and the plug lined up the same way. You can just push it in like so and that'll charge the unit. So battery time on this one is at best running at a, a setting of two. It'll go up to nine hours but most people use it at maybe a four setting or somewhere in there. So you've got about four, four and a half hours out of a typical battery, which is pretty good considering um, the weight of the unit is only about six pounds. So with the extended use battery, we get quite a bit of time out of it. Our other option, like other POCs, remember all the POCs have this uh, similar options, they have chargers to plug in the wall that will keep the unit operating continually and then it also has a car adapter. So I've got a 12 volt plug here to go into the outlet of a, a 12 volt adapter in my vehicle and then I've got the similar configuration for the plug to plug that into the side here. So I can plug that in for uh, use in the car. Really a nice option for POCs. That's one of the real um, advantages of using a POC is that you're able to um, operate it for an extended period of time as long as you're in the vehicle and you're getting power from the vehicle, it'll keep, keep running. So let me show you the battery. Um, batteries can be exchanged. You can rent extra batteries for these units. They, this one comes with just one battery because it's the extended use battery. But to take it out, I'm going to tip the unit upside down and then show you the release. Remember, is right here. So it's a matter of pulling up on the release and then sliding the battery out. So it slides out sideways. And you can see here that I've got a two cell battery uh, that gives me indicators here that I can press. The light comes on 100%, 100% both cells. So there's actually two cells in the one battery, which is what makes it an extended use battery. So I can slide it back in now just by lining up the grooves here on the unit, snap it into position, and then we can turn it around and I'll show you how to use it. So operation on the unit is somewhat similar to the Simply Go and if you remember the Simply Go, you press the button, the power button, and then you press it again to start it. With this one, it's touch screen. So with this, I press the power button, and it's just a touch. And then I'll touch the power button again, and the unit comes on, and it starts to run. And it's got a little whirring sound to it. And you can see that uh, I've got some the number for the setting here. I've got my battery charge and I've got an option menu, which really doesn't do a whole lot. Uh, in the option menu, there's just brightness for the screen, really is all that we can adjust. So there's not much there. But the setting, real important, let's say we needed a setting of four. So what we would do is just go here to two, and I would use the plus and minus buttons to make that adjustment. To get back to the main screen, I just press here for the home button. That's what the home button does is get me back to this universal screen, the home screen. And then I can look here, I can look for battery time or battery charge. 
and it shows that we're 95% charged, which is really handy being able to just take a look at that. And again, now if I needed to look at the setting, I would just go back to the home button, go back to the setting, and adjust that wherever I needed to go. So that's the Simply Go Mini.